All right, so we were lucky enough to get clotted cream cookie from the gotcha while we were pulling for Wildberry. Super awesome animation. Um, super excited uh, that I was able to get uh, the new super epic cookie. Um, so let's quickly just uh, level up. Uh, you know, level him up real quick. Get his skill. So his skill is when you do increase it, he is going to uh, increase his damage, right? So all the way up to 60 real quick. And let's see what is going to happen. So without any toppings as of right now, zero stars, 139,697 power. That is a ton. Okay, you do have to realize that he is going to be a magic cookie, so he does have a higher attack than normal. Okay, uh, so let's see what we have here. So the skill here is going to be console's order, 15 second cooldown. So it's actually really, really short. Okay, um... I'm not going to read all of this. This is uh, pretty much what I read in the patch note already. So here we go. The light cage damage is going to be 189%. Light cage duration is going to be 4.8 seconds. So that is actually a really, really uh, weird number. I don't know why they didn't round it, but they just gave it 4.8%. The next one is going to be the light cage extra damage. This is going to be probably after the time duration uh, where he's going to strike and things like that. So 109.9%. Damage relative to max HP plus stun for 1.3 seconds. So another weird number of 1.3 seconds. Uh, not rounded, nothing like that. Which is pretty uh, pretty interesting of why they came up with that number. Okay, and the next one is going to be others. So if this is not a cookie, then he is going to deal 1.3% damage relative to max HP. And then we'll also stun for 1.3 seconds. And then periodic damage uh, duration 1.4 seconds. 22 ticks and then total is going to be 539.9 percent okay seems very interesting i do want to see how this is going to turn out so this periodic damage is the you know explosions so that's what we're going to be able to see he does have a 15 second cooldown so i feel like it's going to be better for him to use a um full searing raspberry as of now and that is what i'm going to actually test him out with uh rather than you know uh swift chocolate so let me put on the toppings real quick and then we'll be uh right back so i actually went with three searing raspberry two juicy apple jellies instead uh, we are going to go with a little bit of crit percentage just so that you know because he is going to do a ton of ticks right 22 ticks that means he's going to have 22 you know chances of actually critting so i feel like that uh the crit percentage might work out here and we also do have the extra crit damage from the uh you know the landmark as well as the uh laboratory so this is definitely going to work out and with the whole uh topping without any stars right now 198,269. All right, so that is a lot of attack. We do have 47,102 attack. HP is going to be a bit low on, on the low end. Definitely higher than uh, Pocket Pie, though. So that's pretty interesting to see. Let's go into the world exploration and then see how good he is going to be. So let's go and see what he is going to do here against this, this boss. I'm actually really excited to see what he does. I'm going to put out 1.2. Wow, 72,000. 72,000 with crit, 76,000 with crit. He kind of shoots out a laser from his hand. Yeah, he shoots out lasers from his hand. Uh, he does not attack multiple uh, enemies, just one enemy. Okay, so let's just speed it up a little bit here. And we're going to use a skill here. Oh! Holy! 100 something thousand right there. He is a magic. Yep. So, okay. I do want these guys all out of the way. Come on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use the, the lollipop. Let's see if we can one shot this. Oh, so close! So close. Dude. <laughs> wow. The, ex the amount of ticks and explosion that he just did. That is crazy. Alright, that means we gotta try it out here too. But here, because uh, Strawberry Crepe is gonna be a cookie, we might see 
we might see extra damage here. And then the 4.8 seconds, and then boom. Just one shot. Literally one skill. That's all it could... That's, that's all it was. So... My gosh, that... That damage is actually so crazy. Even at zero star, you guys gotta realize, this is zero stars, guys. He doesn't even have any stars right now. Okay, let's see how what's gonna happen if we do this. Okay, so that was uh, one shot of his first uh, form, or her first form. Let's see here. Okay, so here. 461,000 damage. 461,000 with the uh, lollipop activation. And because his cooldown is so short, 11 seconds. 11 seconds. That's all it is. It's actually such a short cooldown. I mean, is he like super good for bosses? I feel like he's going to be better than Seafairy for bosses. 436,000 again. Wow. But, dude. Oh, I, dude, that completely missed. That completely missed. But, yikes. Oh. It, it is like a machine gun. <laughs> That's actually pretty crazy. That is actually pretty crazy. All right, now now that we've seen that, I guess what we need to do is arena, right? So for arena right now, we have up to five, so this is really good. Um, I feel like, so here's the thing. Here's a really good thing. He does not count towards the legendary and ancient. So he doesn't have to count towards a three, which is really, really good, right? That's really, really good. That means we can have Dark Account still in there. We can uh, put in, you know, we can put in Sea Fairy if we want. We can still put in Caramel. All right, so this is the team that I'm gonna try out. I'm gonna try out with the Scythe and the Jelly Watch and the um, and the Scroll here. The toppings here are gonna be five Solid Almond for my Dark Cacao. Um, I do have three of the Syrian Raspberry, two of the Juicy Apple Jelly. It is going to be 1.9% uh, cooldown, 25.4% damage resist and then crit percentage is going to be 18 percent extra and then we have five of chocolate for pomegranate five of chocolate for our eclair and then five of chocolate for our herb all right i can switch it out in between uh depends on what i'm gonna try out but right now we're gonna try this uh, the reason why i'm using the site is just to give an extra crit for our clotted cream but we'll see how this turns out the total power here is going to be 748,832. All right, so here we go. This is going to be a team where we do have a double tank, Strawberry Crave, Hollerberry. A very old team, right? Cotton, probably going to be Seafair here. Uh, let's see how this turns out with a team against uh, using a Monocle as well. So, okay, here we go. So one thing here is because uh, Clotted uh, Cream is going to be in the front, he is going to be using the skill first. Okay. And that is really close of, you know, him dying, to be honest here. But enough damage resist should keep him alive. And boom, there we go. So much debuffs happening. Look at that. Hollerberry can't even do anything. Damage wise, not bad. Not too bad here. Let's try him out with Full Searing Raspberry. I feel like I want to try him out with Full Searing Raspberry and then instead of using the Scythe, use like the Feather or something. Make it a little bit more stable. Because I feel like it's a bit risky right now. Alright, so let me try that. So I'm going to try using Full Searing Raspberry here first. And then I'm actually also going to try out the Full Swift Chocolate as well. I'm going to actually take it out of Eclairs. And then I'm going to put it into uh, Clotted uh, Cream here and then see how that turns out too. But here we go. Let's just try this uh, out here with uh, Full Seeing Raspberry. No cooldown. Uh, just damage resist here, guys. So let's see how that works. All right. So we're going to try using this team here against the t Knight team. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting one. He does do pure damage. So let's see how good he's going to work out against a t Knight. 
Actually, I was wrong. Not pure damage, but he does do damage based on HP. So, might be interesting. Oh, yo, never mind. He got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, that was... Even with all the extra uh, burst and heal, he died. Yeah, I lost this one. This one's gone. Yeah, this one's gone. I cannot beat this one. Actually, nah, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, he he died so quickly. Like the burst damage from all of these guys just was too much, too much. All right, so this one's gonna be the uh, the Madeline speed comp here, guys. Let's see how well we do against a speed comp with our clotted. All right, let's go. So Madeline is going to be caged. Caramel arrow got caged this time around. This one's gonna hurt here. Herb. Oh. oh yo wow that was wow the double ability right you saw the double ability from the feather i think that's why this is a little bit, little bit more stable in the in a way you know because of the feather you do get to come back and use it twice and that that double cast was just so much damage that was so much damage. Holy. Alright, so this time around, we're going to use 5 Swift Chocolate for Clotted. And that's going to make him at 17.9. This is going to have a 3 second start and then 19.5% damage resist. And we are going with the 5 Searing Raspberry for our Eclair this time around. So let's see how this works out. Alright, against the same uh, speed comp right now. Uh, Madeline Caramel Arrow. So let's go. There we go. 3 seconds start, Caramel Arrow doesn't even get to use her skill right there. Now she uses her skill. Actually, I'd say that's a bit of a mess up, maybe. Maybe not. Okay, here we go. He didn't even get frozen! Did you see that? He didn't get frozen because he was using his skill? Wow, Feather didn't even get popped here. That is OP. Yo, this guy is busted. That three seconds start and then continuously casting that cage, even on a cookie who is, you know, immune to interrupting effects. That's actually busted. Um, so one more battle here, guys, with the Eclair and Sea Fairy. Let's see how well we do against this. is a full of chocolate. Let's see what this is. He did come back alive. Uh, he does lack damage if it's full of chocolate. That's for sure. Yeah. But I'm sure... Yeah, when it's uh, one minute mark, he does do a lot more damage. But he does lack damage with full swift chocolate when he's just uh, using it without any arena buffs yeah so damage is is gonna have to be a bit sacrificed if you do use this uh, build right here all right so people are asking me to use the cookie on a scan comp who do i replace though Caramel arrow here? So instead of caramel arrow? Okay. Oh wow, I still lose. This guy is so strong. 
I mean, it works in a scan comp. I feel like Caramel Arrow just might be a bit better here. Yeah, in the in the uh, in a scan comp as of now. All right, last thing, guys, and this one. Is he good? Oh yeah, heck yeah, he's good. Oh heck yeah, he's good. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. All right, we're gonna try this. Uh, let's see. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna try it anyways. All right. Yeah, he's not gonna work out too great in the guild boss battle either, guys. It's the same thing with Cherry Blossom, uh, because he is gonna do a lot of tick damage. All of them can be reflected back to him, causing him to take more damage than he necessarily needs to, right? So, yeah, I don't think he's going to be used for guild boss battle. Probably just going to be for, you know, arena and world exploration as of now. But definitely, definitely a super strong cookie, without a doubt. Uh, easily an S tier, I would say. Uh, there's just so many things that are going on. I mean, you got to realize the review that I just did was with him being a zero star. So if he's able to get any more stars, which I will probably get in a, in a little bit once I do get the whole, you know, one last crest or two crests that I have, he's going to become way better. So I feel like he's going to be super, super good. I don't know what to say. He's super awesome, you know? Okay. So that's my first impression slash review of Clotted Cream. I will be making more videos as well as uh, we'll share more teams. Uh, that we find with clouded creams. So if you guys don't want to miss out on that make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification All right guys, but yeah, that's gonna end the review for clouded cream cookie